Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. I am. Um, I think I'm most excited about the fact that I wrote Trains in the Sky in a period of kind of desperation and weariness and the fact that it's resonated in the way that it has now eight years later, a song that kind of got pushed to the side a lot. I knew that this was the right time. And this is such a beautiful honor and I'm so humbled by it, but I honestly felt like I won far before this because of all of the connectivity that the record has had, um, especially with black women and um, the stories that I hear on the street. So it's a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, and yeah, I just feel gratitude. Yeah. Hi, right here, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks and online. Congratulations. Thank you. Really long overdue. Um, <laughs> and and I, I love the fact that your mother always gives you the same amount of credit that she does your sister. Mm -hmm. How important is that for you? Well, she's my mother. <laughs> um, I mean, I think that just her love and support for both of us has just been completely um, a beautiful love story and we continue to honor her and um, all that she has shown us by example of womanhood and womanism. And it just feels like such a joy to have had her be a part of the album and to kind of pay that forward. You've also, but one last question, you've become such a fashion icon as well. <laughs> and it kind of really has enhanced the music. How important is the fashion part of your music? Um, I think that uh, visual art and all aspects are super important to me, whether it be through the creation of my videos or my album artwork, um, creating strong visual representation of not only myself, but again, black women and getting to see us as avant-garde beings um, in a world that sometimes puts us in a box is really important to me. So thank you for recognizing that. <laughs> okay, yes. thank you. I look to Nina Simone and Marvin Gaye and the artists of our times that have really pushed political messages through, through their music and their artistry. I think that all that we can do as artists and especially as songwriters is write about what's true to us. And I think that the music that is out right now and really connecting and thriving reflects that. And I'm really grateful to those artists for paying it through because it's not easy, it's scary putting yourself out on the line when you're making political and social um, statements with your work. So I just honor the greats, you know. I look to Nina Simone who did that during a time where it's interesting the tra trajectory of her career now, she's being so celebrated and revered, but she was really shut up during that time. She was really told to just sing. And so those are the artists who paved the way for us to do what we're doing now. So I, we're not doing nothing new. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Good night. What's up? This is Monkey from Corn. It's Highly Suspect. This is Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Mark Hoppus. Kinsh Gluman. Tori Kelly. I'm Ahmet Zappa, and you need to subscribe to this channel. Do it.